guys, welcome. We're here today at Coney Island Cafe with my good friend, Mr. Ho Joel Hansen. Hole. Hole Hansen. We, we are here today to take on their Elvis Presley challenge. So this consists of a poutine with peanut butter and bacon, a burger with peanut butter and bacon. It's got a hot dog with peanut butter and bacon, and it comes with a delicious looking milkshake with peanut butter, bacon, and possibly banana. And more peanut butter and bacon. Yeah, absolutely. So. We've got 45 minutes to defeat this. Uh, it looks absolutely delicious, so whew, uh, I think we should do it, but uh, join us and see if we can actually complete it, guys. Wish us luck. Whew. All right, guys, so here it is, the Elvis challenge here, the poutine challenge. You can see this is, looks absolutely delicious. Uh, I've gone with the Elvis poutine here. It's got bacon, cheese curds, peanut butter, and of course, French fries. Uh, Joel, what do you have there? Man, this is the first poutine I've ever been excited to eat in my life. We got a freaking s'mores poutine, hell freaking right. I got cinnamon sugar fries with marshmallows, some like graham cracker crumbs, and chocolate sauce. Oh, sounds delicious. So, uh, we also do have the hot dog there with the peanut butter and bacon, and then the hamburger as well. So, this looks absolutely delicious. And don't forget about our Elvis milkshake as well. And did you go with Elvis as well? I got a coconut cream pie. Yeah, so something a little bit different for Joel today. So uh, the record right now is about somewhere in the 15 minute mark. So we're both going to hopefully beat that today and set a new record and enjoy. I think, I think this is what I want to kind of enjoy. What about you? Absolutely. All right, guys. So wish us luck and here we go. All right. So I have a timer today here. It's not mine, don't worry guys, I'm not, I'm not on track. And anyway, so let's get started, Scott. What do you say, the count of five? Actually, you give us the, you give us the countdown, I have the timer. All right, we got a countdown of five, four, three, two, one, begin. Cool. Let's see, where do I start? Hot dog. Oh, we're gonna cheers? Cheers. Hot dog. There we go. All right. Not to sound like sarcastic, but it's like it tastes like peanut butter and bacon and a hot dog, which is a really cool combination. Definitely very unique flavor, and it's very flavorful. That's nice. Welcome everyone. It's been such a long time since I posted last, and I'm super excited to be here with you today to enjoy this mouth-watering challenge. Very delicious, folks. As you guys probably already know, I'm joined here today with my good buddy, Mr. Joel Hansen at Coney Island Poutine Cafe in Regina, Saskatchewan. We're here to take on their Elvis Presley Challenge. Is she a peanut butter down there? With this challenge, we had 45 minutes to complete it all. It consisted of a hot dog smothered in peanut butter with some bacon, your choice of milkshakes, your choice of poutine, along with their Elvis Presley burger. If we ate all of this within the 45 minute time limit, not only would we get to enjoy this absolutely delicious meal for free, but we would also get a cool hoodie. So stay tuned to see if we can do it and maybe even break the record, which was set at 15 minutes. Try this burger. Bacon, peanut butter. Yeah, I kind of dig that. I like that a lot. Especially, it's, it's still got the tomatoes, pickles, lettuce, and onions in there as well, which I think actually makes a nice combination with the bacon and peanut butter, you know? It's really nice texture. I've never had peanut butter on a burger before, but I've definitely had it again. Yeah. So as you can already tell, this was a very unique challenge, which had some very unconventional flavor combinations, but we were both digging it. With the burger, it had the usual tomatoes, onions, lettuce, and pickles, with the addition of peanut butter and bacon, of course. Now, you probably wouldn't think that these would go together, but the peanut butter and bacon added a thick and rich flavor, which complemented the fresh and juicy burger beautifully. It's a must try for anyone if you ever get the opportunity. 
Not only did we get a unique opportunity with the burger, but also with the poutine. I stuck with the Elvis theme all around, so I went with the peanut butter and bacon poutine, whereas Joel eagerly decided to go with the s'mores. It had cinnamon, sugar, graham crackers, chocolate syrup, and marshmallows. I've never seen Joel excited for a poutine challenge before, so we'll have to see what happens. I'll start asking restaurants to put peanut butter on their burgers. I'm doing like a burger challenge. Do you guys have peanut butter? Alright. Very delicious. No, delicious looking poutine. And then delicious looking dog shape. This is so cool. Not sugar free, but we got it. Oh boy. I can vibe with this. Scott got the uh, the Elvis poutine. So bacon, peanut butter, on like a pretty, I like it on a poutine. Uh, tastes very Elvis-y. You know? It's a great thing. I definitely have to say one of the better poutines that I've ever had for sure. That's not the best. I believe it. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter on that burger is fire. And this one's pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. Then I was walking and watching in Memphis. I was walking with poutine six feet off the field. Joel singing so that I can catch up with him. <laughs> I'm celebrating a delicious <laughs> poutine without cheese. And Elvis, right? So this was not our first challenge of the day. If you haven't got to check it out already, watch our first challenge of the day at Luigi's Pasta House after you watch this video. It was a large seven pound pasta challenge, also in Regina, Saskatchewan. So this one felt like kind of a dessert challenge for us after that. We're about six minutes in. We only have 39 minutes left. Fingers crossed, with 39 minutes to go, we've got a little bit of poutine and the much anticipated Elvis Presley milkshake to go. I've never had a milkshake with peanut butter, banana, bacon flavor, and chocolate before, but I couldn't wait to try. The best part too, is that we had plenty of time to enjoy it and still had nine minutes to break the old record. And I also wanted to give a shout out to TJ and his girlfriend for coming out and supporting us on both our challenges. The channel wouldn't be possible without great viewers like you guys. Coconut cream pie. Ooh, good. Ooh. Well, sounds like Joel might be enjoying his milkshake. Oh boy, I also love coconut. Oh, that's a definite yes. Oh my gosh, it's getting better right then. I already really liked this challenge, I'm liking it even more. Dude, why can't every challenge taste like this? <laughs> Holy jumpers. Oh, so good. And they have like 50 kinds of options. It's actually pretty impressive. I'm very impressed. Already with this thing. By the way, we found this place by, I think, recommenda by recommendation of somebody on YouTube. So thank you for recommending this place. It's pretty damn cool. Yeah. 
like I said before, without great viewers like you guys, this wouldn't all be possible. Dude, this melting is fire. How's that one? Yeah. Dude! Yeah. Dude, every milkshake tastes like this. Yes. And every challenge should end with a milkshake. I've always said that. All right. A little bit of brain freeze, but it's damn delicious. Well guys, we're just wrapping up one of my favorite challenges that I've ever done. The whole experience was fantastic. The food was unique and flavorful, and the owner was out of this world accommodating for us. So if you're ever in the Regina, Saskatchewan area, you have to come support this great local restaurant. Thank you for joining me once again. I really do appreciate all of your support. And if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more great content like this video. We'll see you on the next one, guys. All right. Woo! Stop. All right, so about nine minutes for myself, just under nine minutes, and then literally about right on nine minutes for Scott. Damn delicious. Oh yeah. Dude. Dude. I love that. Like That motion just, that made my freaking week. <laughs> Absolutely, I found it. So delicious, great way to end milkshake. Even the unique flavors of the peanut butter and Dude, bacon. Peanut like butter on burgers. Burgers and hot it's dogs. Good. So. All right guys, well there we have it. Joel and I officially completed the challenge here. There was an absolutely delicious challenge with some very unique flavors, which worked out really well. Uh, we both did it right in the nine minute, I think for him, yep. 902 for me. Nope, nine minutes for him, just under for me. but. Call it nine minutes even. Yeah, it's somewhere time. around there. So, well, it's closest, the closest, closest I will time. ever get to a tie with you So, uh, with that, guys, thanks for joining us. Really big thank you to the staff here at Coney Island Cafe in Regina, Saskatchewan. Uh, it was absolutely delicious. They treated us really well. So, I recommend anybody in the area to come down here, try their food, try their unique flavors, different poutines. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining, guys, and join us next time.